Well, as countries figure out the best approach to reopen in a post-COVID-19 world, a new study suggests that cycling between lockdowns and relaxing social distancing measures could be a way of controlling outbreaks and reducing death. CTV science and technology specialist Dan Riskin joins us with more. Dan, great to talk to you this morning. So the researchers determined a cycle of 50 days of lockdown followed by 30 days of relaxing physical distancing measures is the key, and it would exponentially reduce COVID-19 deaths across 16 countries compared to if they just lifted restrictions completely. Talk to me about how they come up with these numbers. Yeah, they use computer models. And so uh, computer modeling is a great way to sort of try to figure out what the future holds. And computer modeling is what saved Canada from the kinds of outcomes we saw in places like Italy or the U.S. right now. It was where people took uh, different you know, numbers that they were seeing for how much the disease spreads, how deadly it is, plugging those into a computer model, letting it run, and then saying, well, what if we do this? What if we do that? Ooh, what if we shut the border? Oh, what if we lock everybody in their houses for a month? These things make a big difference to how much the disease can spread. And so here they were just looking to see if we do nothing, what happens? If we uh, tell everybody they have to stay in their houses and can't leave for a year, what happens? Everybody agrees that's not feasible. But then what happens if we do something in the middle? And so they were looking at these different scenarios where there are 50 days of something, whether that's a light restriction or a heavy restriction, and then 30 days off. And what they found was if people are sort of going between light restrictions and then complete freedom and then light restrictions and then complete freedom that doesn't get this thing contained and we exceed healthcare capacity we don't flatten the curve enough and there's excess death basically the the doctors don't have the resources to save enough people but if we do this lockdown for 50 days and then freedom for 30 days and then lockdown for 50 days and so on back and forth we can keep the curve at a level where our doctors can do the work they need to do to keep people safe. And so, uh, you know, the disease and lasts a little longer, but fewer people die. Well, I was just going to ask that. The length of it would change, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, so what this does is it just sort of spreads it out. You can kind of think of it as like a Band-Aid coming off. And so, you know, with a Band-Aid, the, the wisdom is you just rip it off quickly. It hurts a little bit, but at least it's over. The thing about a disease is if you try to deal with it all at once, your hospitals are totally overwhelmed and people that could have been saved if there were fewer cases at once don't get saved. And so that's not the way to deal with an epidemic. You don't rip the Band-Aid off. You take it off as slowly as possible. And in fact, if you're taking it off very slowly, you may reach a point where a vaccine's available, and then you don't need to be pulling that Band-Aid off so painfully anymore. And so the idea mm -hmm. here is that this would extend how long the epidemic lasts. Unfortunately, for something like 18 to 24 months, you know, a year and a half, two years. And the hope is that you know, drugs start to step in at that point, whether they be drugs that can treat the symptoms better or if it's uh, an actual vaccine that prevents people from getting the disease. But this would be sort of something we'd be in for the long haul. One advantage is you'd sort of know what was coming. So you'd be able to anticipate in terms of work, in terms of childcare, in terms of other things, when you're going to be locked down and when you're going to be free. That's one advantage to this model. Dan, a yes or no answer. Should Canada adopt this model? I think Canada is already living with something like this model. I'm sorry, I'm not giving you a yes or no, but the truth is we've got a little bit of freedom. We're easing restrictions right now, but it's inevitable that the numbers of cases is going to go up and there's going to be a subsequent lockdown. So I think people just need to sort of have their heads in that space and be ready for that reality. Dan Riskin, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.